Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Bring you our 2013 NFL Draft Special for the Green Bay Packers. We're going to hand out draft grades and we're going to take a look at every last selection the Packers made this past April as well as some undrafted free agents that you want to keep an eye on. The Packers had 11 picks in this year's draft and came away with some pretty good football players. You look at Eddie Lacy out of Alabama. 5'10", 230 pounds, reminds me a lot of Michael Turner and what he brings to the table. You look at round five, Josh Boyd out of Mississippi State. Quiet as kept, the Bulldogs have been producing some top quality defensive talent, especially on that defensive line. Nate Palmer out of Illinois State, an outstanding pass rusher coming off the edge, dominated the competition in the FCS level. And you look at Sam Barrington, big fan of his game, followed his career throughout his time down there in Tampa. Inside linebacker, I think he provides some value as a blitzer. Now, what I like most about the Packers draft, getting the Tone Jones defensive lineman out of UCLA. This guy is so versatile. He can play the five. He can play the seven. He can even play the nose. So you get three guys with one pick. Definitely one of the strongest guys at the point of attack down at the Senior Bowl was owning Eric Fisher throughout the course of the week. So I like this pick a lot for Green Bay. I also like the fact that the Packers owned the fourth round. J.C. Treader is a solid prospect, played tackle at Cornell, will kick down inside as a guard. David Bakhtiari out of Colorado is another one of those fine prospects alone at offensive line. And again, just like Mississippi State with defensive tackles, Colorado has been producing some very good O-linemen in the last couple of seasons. The Packers also got one of my favorite prospects in the fourth round in Jonathan Franklin, running back out of UCLA. This guy, in my opinion, has LaShawn McCoy-like ability, and I think he will be the starter over Eddie Lacy. I think he just brings you that threat out of the backfield. That's something that the Packers haven't had in a very long time. And when you look at his skill set, you look at a guy that has outstanding agility, acceleration, and great vision. All of the attributes that you need to be a top flight running back at the next level. That's why I think Jonathan Franklin will be a star for the Green Bay Packers. Now, what I didn't like about the Packers draft is that they had some questionable late round selections. One in particular had me scratching my head, and that was the Michael Hyde selection. Now, don't get me wrong. Hyde is a solid player, but if they wanted a cornerback with ball skills, Jordan Poirier out of Oregon State was right there on the board. He would have also given them the added benefit of having a guy that can help you out as a returner. An undrafted free agent that could surprise and make the Packers roster. You look at Andy Malumba out of Eastern Michigan. Now, he's an interesting prospect. This guy is also the number one CFL prospect in the upcoming CFL draft. So we'll know Monday if he's getting taken by a CFL team and producing up north. This is a guy that provides tremendous pass rushing ability. Coming off the edge, outstanding speed and acceleration and closing speed to the quarterback. So he's an interesting case. He may end up playing in Canada, but the Packers definitely got a guy that they could use situationally, either on special teams or also in their regular blitz packages. I'm giving the Packers a B plus for their draft. Yes, there were some questionable selections, but they also hit home runs in particular in the fourth round. So overall, when you sit back and wonder why good teams stay good, they continue to draft good football players and the Packers definitely were able to come away with some guys that could be some day one impact players for their football team. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Packer fan forums for always showing football game plan support.